Youth runner here with a Riverton a senior standout, Corbin Randall, 1550.8 over 5K uh, to win the boys' varsity afternoon session at the Tippinogos Invitational. We're at Lakeside Sports Park in, uh, in Orem. Uh, obviously, it was a 1-2 finish uh, for, uh, for Riverton. Uh, so before we talk about your brilliance, just how empowering was it and how encouraging was it that, that you and Christian were really kind of dictating the majority of this race together? Well, me and my teammate Christian. Christian's, Christian's the best, man. He, uh, we, all, we, he, we do workouts together and we... We push each other, and it's always fun to like give each other fist bump and like move on and work as a team. It really helps out, you know. Corbin, and the fact that you can take what happens in training and obviously apply it here. I mean, like a lot of times, you know, people will, you know, will will be there and you know they'll they'll be the leaders in a workout or whatever, and then you know for whatever variety of reasons, it might not always translate over. Like the fact uh, that it did, especially you know on a deceptively challenging course like that. Like how much optimism, how much enthusiasm does that give you guys? Well, we uh, recently switched coaches this year, so workouts have been a little different, but it's it's been it workouts are always fun. Just like we just go on the grind and like that obviously like helped out on the course me and my buddy like help each other in workouts but also here at races so it's always fun i appreciate you uh, you talking about the you know the transition uh, from the coaching standpoint i you know i certainly knew that but obviously it's you know, it's more important for that to come from you than it is uh, for me uh, but i mean but the thing is you guys are veterans right and so obviously regardless of who's right in the workout regardless of who's you know, traveling with you guys, you know, yeah. in a bus or in a van, like you guys are veterans, you guys are, uh, are leaders. Like, how important is it that that you guys still kind of shape and form the identity of this team and not have a new coach kind of come in and say like, this yeah. is what we're gonna do? Well, my coach is very understanding. He like some coaches will come in and be like, like focus on the younger generation and kind of like throw us aside, but but he's really good at incorporating us and he wants us to be leaders. And I remember as a sophomore looking up to the seniors and I'm like, I just you know want to be that guy for. Uh, for my team. Most know? definitely. Yeah. Obviously, uh, incredible experience gained by the group uh, uh, last year. But how important is it for Corman, Randall, and Christian Rutt and the rest of the guys to be the 2024 version of Riverton? You know, and and you know, saying like, hey, we're going to celebrate the brilliance from 2023, but we want to yeah. form our own identity. How important is that? Well, it's always important. Like, you can never focus too much on the past. And, but you can always focus on the present and work with your teammates. It's always a team sport, even though some people think like cross country running, you know, it's not. It's like, yeah. yeah, so it's, it's fun, it's good. The fact that, you know, first big goal for you guys is obviously August 29th, 30th, you know, whatever, whatever day, depending on an athlete's gonna run it, Sugar House, obviously then November 23rd, December 7th. How encouraged are you on August 30th in terms of like, just where the, where the fitness is and, and how you feel like you kind of handled that last yeah. K today. Well, uh, Christian is a beast on hills and Sugar House has a lot of those, so I'm hoping to work with him on those. So uh, yeah, it's always about practice and uh, knowing where you're going and what moves to make at certain points. So we'll be working on that for- But did you, uh, did you feel good like you know, oh. coming around the last corner on the yeah, straightaway, yeah. like you had enough yeah. left? Well, <laughs> it's always hard. The last, yeah. the last half mile is always hard. It's always grind, but uh, you get used to it and uh, used to the grind, so that's what we're out here doing. Awesome. Uh, one of the best performances in the day overall, regardless if it was afternoon or, uh, or, or morning. Obviously, uh, he knows that he's going to have to see all those uh, those great guys uh, in, in 6A uh, when it's all said and done. Uh, great job today. Congratulations. Thank you.